Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another tutorial within Terraria. Kill the zombie. We hate zombies. I got away. Ha! I pushed him off. Anyways, last time I left you off in the videos, I showed you the first. Oh my God! Go away. The first night within Terraria, and um, we made a base, and we situated ourselves, and we got the tour guide bloke to come and stay with us because he's our friend hey friend how you doing so yeah we've got all this situation you know i'm just gonna leave the zombies because i do not have a good weapon um so yeah we've got our house situated so uh let me have a look at the inventory because uh, what we need is um i think is silk silk is a good thing to start making but first off what i'm gonna do is what i've done in my main world which i thought was quite effective is to no no I don't want it there. Um, let me rearrange this. Da, 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 da. Yeah, perfect. Right. What we want to do is we want to get some more materials, preferably some stone, perhaps, and to get some more space going, and to get some more of the good stuff. So that is what you want to do. You want to get your pickaxe equipped, and you literally from your base the safest way to find a mine. If you're first off, straight away. Actually, that was a really stupid idea of me. Um, yes, don't do what I just did, pretty much. <laughs> Go back up. Because I forgot I don't have any of my perks or anything. It's really weird. Um, crafting bench. Good. Uh, wood. What we want to make is some torches. We've got some. That's good. And you want to make these wooden platforms. Now, we'll say I'm going to make about 30, I think. What these wooden platforms are... Is you know in old fashioned say like Donkey Kong and um, yeah Donkey Kong mainly you know when you can drop down through or well, Donkey Kong as with Mario you know when you can drop down through things um, it makes it easier for you to climb up so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bang some light on and then bash on one of these so about there see when you jump you can land on it and then when you go on it if you make two across. Then you're like, oh no, I can't get down. You press the S key and you drop down. Which is very handy indeed. Um, yeah. So what we do is pretty much just going to dig down a hole. And you just dig down as far as you can go. So basically, once you've dug your tunnel of tunneliness, you will be getting to the point where you'll start reaching these big cavernous areas such as this. So as you can see here, from the greyness, or not the greyness, the orangeness, there uh, indeed is copper. And what you want to do is you want to harvest all this copper because copper is an ore in which you can make better tools. You start off with copper, but um, so you don't really need to make copper tools because, well, you start off with them. Apart from, uh, no, wait a sec, you get a copper axe and a copper pickaxe. That's what you get. So it's a good idea and it's in the best interest of you as a person who wants to achieve within Terraria to make some uh, better tools and better equipment with the ores that you find. Like so, we've got 30 here and that should be enough to show you how to smelt some stuff. Once you get up to the top of your basey baseyness, what you want to do is you want to go to your crafting bench and once you have... Uh, 20 stone blocks, 4 pieces of wood and 3 torches, you can uh, start making a furnace. So what you want to do is you want to put it on your hot bar. And for now, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to place it right next to my crafting bench. So then once we go here, we need 3 copper bars to make, uh, sorry, 3 copper ores to make a copper bar. So what we're going to do is just going rip to rapidly click on that. And then go up and see what we can make. Or if we can make anything. I don't think we can. Uh, I think we need an anvil to start making some tools. So to do that we need to find some iron ore, which is a, a bit of a task. Because iron ore is a bit more rarer than what copper is. So what I'm going to do is, for the time being, I'm just going to collect some more resources on the outside. Um, get some more wood. Get some more good wood going. Get some more wood going. Because we need some wood. Because we're running out. Snakil. We need wood to make woodly things. 
uh, 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 making the wood, making the wood. So basically, also what I'm going to try and find is is some uh, cobwebs, due to the fact that I want to make a bed for our house, um, because with a bed, when you sleep per se on the bed, it resets your roll, 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 no, you're a spawn point to wherever your bed is. So instead of us spawning um, over in that corner every time we start up the world. We'd spawn inside our comfort. Oh no, it's a pinky! No, it's a pinky! Pinky's going down, bishk. You get a gold coin from Pinky, by the way. And it's got over like 200 health, I think. Where are you? Look, Pinky, 150. Bishk, you're going down. My wooden sword is going to get you. Ah, oh, my god, my clicky finger's going all clicky. Pinky, die. Pinky, you're getting pwned. Yeah, get him against the wall. Ha, ah, it's like a bouncy ball. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, no, he hit me. Damn you, you pink thing. Why is such a high level monster as being spawned when, like, I mean, in the beginning of the worlds? Oh, yeah, look at that. That's pro skill is right there. You don't see that anywhere else. How much? Yeah, look, gold coin. We've got a gold coin. Um. But yeah, <laughs> kind of got to keep hold of that really, because we need a chest, and to make a chest you need some iron. So yeah, it would be in your best interest, folks, to make a chest uh, to store all your belongings. And when you later on get the merchant, you can get a piggy bank. And with this piggy bank, you can store your monies, obviously, because well, that's what a piggy bank's for. I'm just going to quickly make some torches out of that gel. Die, green slime. Uh, nearly 200 wood. That's good enough. Let's let's get rolling. Let's get rolling. Cause it's boring just collecting wood, isn't it, really, folks? But it's one of the parts of the game you got to do. So we're in quest for some cobwebs. I know you can find them underground, but normally you can find them overground as well. So just going to pretty much just walk along and just explore the land a bit, and hopefully I don't find the corruption. But if I do, I shall explain it when I get there. If not, I'll wait till the another video uh, to start explaining about the corruption. Found a nice little cavern here full of water. Let's explore it a little bit. Um, nice face there. Oh, we got a lesser potion. Exactly what I need. Gonna get my torch on the go. Oh God, I'm too fat to hit the fit down the hole. You know, I can't bother to explore this thing. It's full of war and stuff, and I'll die, and I don't particularly want to die on cam. I've done, I've done, I've done a very good job of not dying so far, and I'm pretty proud of myself, because normally I dive in the first 15 seconds of playing games, because I suck so terribly. Oh my god, another little cavernous thing that has no prosperity of cobwebs. can't remember the size of the world that I created. Is it large, medium, or small? Please tell me in the links below, because I can't bother to watch my videos again. Thank you, Plox! So much stone and stuff. Ooh, what's this? Okay, this is a weird little terrain here. Okay, this is slightly weird. Sand, water, clay, and dirt. Okay, slightly weird. I think it might be the beginnings of a cave. Yeah, I think it is. I'm not going to put any torches down, because, well, it's not my cave as such to explore. But I want some damn cobwebs. No, co is that is that silver? Or is that iron? I'm just put it, ah, it's dark. Sorry, folks, it's dark. There we go, we've got light. Right. Jump technique is not working. Wouldn't advise it. Especially not with this crappy um, copper pick. Yeah, silver ore. Sweet. I've got some silver ores. Silver right now is the least of our worries. Because what we want mainly is. Ah, it's a slime. Uh, iron, like I keep saying. God damn it, just find some freaking iron, man. It's hard, Joe. It's hard. 
That's what she said. We dirty jokes for the win. I've got a feeling I'm going to die if I drop down here. I just thought something. How the hell am I going to get back up? I oh, you know what? I'll just kill myself. Ah, oh, but I've got the gold coin. No. This is not a cool predicament, guys. I wouldn't advise doing this. But, you know, because of my pro... Ah, we found some. Because of my... Ah, oh, I forgot. It's dark. I forgot I don't have a mining helmet. Um, I want some dirt on the front row. No! Don't throw it! No! Oh, that was close. Uh, dirt on the front row. Right. Make a little pathway. Get us some... Silky stuff. You know what will go right now? Pretty good. For what we had. A magic mirror. For you who don't know what a magic mirror is, it's basically a th Ah! I've dropped down to a hole. Basically what it is, it's a thing... Ah, need more light. Where you can um, teleport straight home. That's where your spawn point is. Straight away. Without any questions asked. Which is a really cool effect if you're exploring places. Can I make silk out of the blue? No, I need a crafty benchy. Is that more iron? I see. Ah, it's dark. Hate the dark. Not cool, man. Not cool. So, as you can see, it is pretty hard to get ores um, in the beginning stages. Because, well, you don't have much armor, so you can't really explore much. And you don't have, like... Oh, chest! Chest! Come in a bowl! Suck on that, fams! Yes! So much win! Yes! Iron bars winning. Wooden arrows for the win. Some lesser healing potions. And some torches. Don't you just love Terraria? So, basically, what we've got here is accessories. And I just found a cloud in the bowl, which allows the holder to do a double jump. So what this means is, when I'm j running along, now I can jump up there with ease. I don't have to use dirt and stuff, which is exactly what I wanted. Thank you so much, Terraria. I love you. You answered my prayers. So what I'm going to do is get the hammer. I'm going to steal this chest, because I need a chest for home. I don't have much iron to make one with. What's in here? I can see some copper. Is that iron there? Yeah, there's a bit of iron. Pew! I'm liking this place more than my own dungeon thing. So yeah, basically guys, the deeper you get, the more ores you'll find. And uh, within these um, naturally made caverns, you'll find many chests and good things... Ah, uh, there's a slime. Uh, good things to, to find and to explore. Or not to find to explore, but to find to like keep and stuff. So you'll find many accessories and guns and all kinds of good stuff in chests, you know. And they help you throughout your game, which is a really nice uh, feature of Terraria. I personally think I think it's such a nice feature to have different accessories that you just find in dungeons because it gives you that aspect of you know the more you explore, the more you'll find, and the more that you you can do, you kind of thing. So, it's a really nice touch, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, we're just getting some copper ore. And move on on our quest for ores. Um, hopefully, I'll find another chest and it's got a magic mirror in it. That would make my day. If not, then, well, just have to make the best of bad situation. I need light. I keep forgetting, because in Minecraft, when you use a torch, it doesn't produce any light. It's kind of silly. So, um, in Terraria, when you hold a light, it, it creates light, no matter if you're in water or in lava, <laughs> to be honest. I think I've reached a dead end. Nope, I haven't. Torches in the vase. Put a light up there. Go on, Joe. That's it. Well done. Ah, uh, oh, that's another slime approaching me fast on my tails. Ah, oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to put a torch down. Yes! Cobwebs are for the win. I think we might have enough um, cobwebs to make. Oh, iron ore! Iron ore! So happy right now. I do love exploring dungeons and stuff. 